The best way to manage inventory in Planet Together is by using the Inventory Plan um, tab or Plan Paint. So to get there, typically it can be found at the bottom here. It's called Inventory Plan. Um, and if you don't see it, you can go to the Windows tab at the top, Show Pane, and go to Inventory Plan. So the Inventory Plan um, contains a couple different areas. Um, the first area you'll see is the grid. This is all of your inventory, all of your items, every warehouse. Uh, it's searchable, searchable grid. It'll show you things like how many adjustments there are on that item, your current on-hand quantity, your total demand, total supply, final quantity. Whether it's used in um, MRP, it would have a template here if it is, um, lead time, all sorts of information. Uh, your second area down here is a pane where you can see the adjustments on that <clears throat> particular inventory item. You can see an inventory plot. And then there's a couple other tabs here which I'll get into in a, in a bit, but that's for modifying the inventory item and warehouse. So let's stick to the adjustments tab for now. Um, I can easily search, like I said, so I'll type in shirt. Let's uh, return, and then I'll, I'll select that first item row. Um, so the grid down below loads uh, automatically when I, when I select an inventory item. And so what this is showing me, this is showing me all the adjustments. And the period here, I'm looking at my short term. So if, um, if I were to look at the Gantt, it's the area that's, I, I believe there's a blue line on the Gantt. Let's make sure here. Yes, so there's a blue vertical line on the Gantt here. Um, so I'm looking from my short-term end into the beginning of the schedule. If I wanted to look all the way to my planning horizon, I'll just click planning horizon and it'll just load a bunch more data. My period here is a day. So I'm looking at every day how the um, inventory, the demand supply, uh, how this item is, is being affected each day. And you'll see on the left hand side I've got an info type, so it shows me my sales orders, my forecasts, um, materials, uh, transfer orders, uh, purchase orders, and then just uh, basic production. And it shows me my net inventory for the day. So you can see not much is happening here in the beginning, but as I scroll to the right I start to see the sales orders uh, coming in. And then as I keep scrolling to the right, I'll start to see here uh, my production starting to ramp up. And now for each bucket here, so for each day, and actually I'm going to switch to a, a week bucket just to show you here. So I'll go by week. This is easier to look at. I can click on a certain column and see a little inventory um, graph for that particular date range. I'll just double click here and it'll highlight the adjustments during that date range and show me a graph. I can also hide certain info types that I don't want to see. So if I'm only interest or interested in sales orders, I don't want transfer orders um, or materials. I just want sales orders and forecasts. And then on my supply side, I don't want my transfer orders and I just want to see my products. So it gives you some um, different types of functionality there. But also highlighting in colors, there's a legend here. Now I can view all the demand, uh, all the adjustments here in the inventory plot over the entire span from the beginning of the schedule to the planning horizon. I can see my plotted values here. So every time there's adjustment, I can see what that adjustment is, when the adjustment occurred, and why the adjustment was made. And then I can go deeper on those adjustments into the details. I can see there was a sales order, or I, I, or I can see, um, let's see, what else? what the end product one, what the sales order was, the sales order ID, the customer it was for. Once the jobs start getting created, I can see the job name that was created to fulfill that sales order. 
I can quickly jump to the job if I wanted. I can open it up. So this easily lets you see your supply and demand on your inventory items. And now just to cover a couple more tabs here, we've got our item um, tab. This lets us, this information is usually imported, that's fine, but if you did need to change something on the fly here, you could um, go ahead and add an item group. And you notice that block highlights in yellow, meaning you changed it, and then you can just go ahead and save it. And that saves the change. Same thing with your warehouse and your inventory. And of course, I guess at the top here, um, you can have the grid refle refresh automatically. So if any scheduling adjustments are made, this grid will refresh, or you can refresh it uh, manually on your own. And there's some Gantt connectivity here too. So as you move the Gantt around, you can have this grid update and do different things. And of course, inventory, the inventory plan is um, is a place where you can use those alerts that we talked about before. Um, so you see here there's one inventory alert. It's a low stock alert. If I click on that, it will load my low stock layout. And if I move this pane down here, I'll see jobs that have a safety shortage. This is filtering on safety shortage. So that's a brief overview of the inventory plan. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.